Hi everyone, good morning all of you. I welcome you all in my channel Positivity and Happiness. It's your own channel, it's my YouTube family, it's your own YouTube family with me. So yes, I'm very happy to welcome you in my channel today. Today is Friday and uh, today I thought of I'll share my lunch routine with all of you. So basically in my previous vlogs, one in one or two vlogs I can remember, I shared my lunch routine. But uh, the thing is today I'm going to share a pure vegetarian lunch routine with all of you. Might be you are wondering that why today I eat a pure uh, vegetarian meal. So the thing is uh, for last 3-4 years every Friday I eat vegetarian meal and I just uh, love to speak on that routine and um, not only that I am a vegan vegan and I always love non-vegetarian meat. No, it's not like that. And I told you also in my previous vlogs that even though I'm Bengali from Kolkata, definitely we love fish. We have a you know, sheer love for a non-vegetarian food. But definitely I love vegetarian meal, especially dal, different kind of sabjis and dosa, it is everything, every kind of vegetarian delicacy also I love. And um, I don't know when I started loving vegetarian meal, um, I don't have any clear idea but yeah, probably it happened. When I was in USA, I met some of my gorgeous friends from South India and North India. The two friends were from Gujarat and Maharashtra. So they used to make and they used to invite us in their uh, home and they used to serve amazing vegetarian meals. So probably from them I uh, you know, started loving vegetarian, Indian vegetarian. Um, it can actually definitely be very helpful for your health. So I always prefer to have balanced diet. I mean with some non-vegetarian dish also you have seen me. Uh, always I love to serve a big portion of sabjis or vegetables with my dish or dals, salads. So yeah, in this way I prepare my meal, I plan my meals. So, so today I am going to cook something very light, very basic and very uh, you know simple vegetarian meal also without no onion and no garlic so I hope you will enjoy that and now it's my vlog channel and I love to share my life with you so I thought of okay it's gonna be a different kind of lunch routine so why not uh, sharing with you guys my lovely people my lovely friends. I'm gonna finish my uh, tea and then I'm eating green tea by the way and I was just studying a little bit and so now the time is actually 11.15, I already had my breakfast, breakfast and tea in the morning. So now I will go and start preparing my uh, lunch. So okay, let's go to my kitchen. So my friends, these are some pre-preparations that I have made to uh, make today's lunch, a fried special veg lunch. Uh, firstly, I have soaked some rice. And then I have cut cabbage uh, and with cabbage I have also cut some capsicum and some carrots. And I have soaked some matar dal that is yellow split dal. And I have cut uh, these uh, potatoes in uh, thin thin pieces, thin and long pieces. First I switch on the power button of my rice cooker as you can see here. Uh, so by the time I'll make my dals and sabjis my rice will be absolutely ready. So my friends, my uh, dal is boiled now. I have uh, boiled my dal in a pressure cooker. I pressure cook it with two whistles. So now it's absolutely ready. I take out the lid of my pressure cooker. And now I'm starting uh, to make my cabbage sabji. So for making cabbage sabji in oil, I have added uh, cumin seeds, two pieces of cardamom and one bay leaves. And then I'm gonna saute it well. Now it's time to add freshly cut chopped and washed cabbage, uh, capsicum and carrot mixture into this oil. Uh, so now we uh, need to give it a very good mix. But uh, the thing is I just want to let you know that cabbage might look uh, in a very big portion but uh, you know after cooking it for some time it will reduce its quantity. I absolutely like my cabbage in this way only. I mean, uh, if you overspice your cabbage, then it will definitely lose its own flavor. So to restore the flavor and restore the texture of your cabbage, you just need to add very little amount of spice. So here I am adding some uh, turmeric and before that I have added some salt. 
so and now little bit of cumin powder and that's it now I need to give it a very good mix so the aroma of cabbage it just gorgeous I mean you just don't need to add any other uh, extra spice in it especially I don't love to add uh, red chili powder in my cabbage I just don't like to uh, after uh, cooking it for some time I'll add two pieces of green chili but um, no I don't want to add any red chili powder into my cabbage I like it just this way and now it's time to add two pieces of splitted green chili into my cabbage curry and now I'm going to give it a very good mix and then I'll cover the lid. So now after cooking it for 5 to 10 minutes, I'm adding little bit of ghee and little bit of garam masala powder. So and one more thing I want to let you know that I didn't add any extra water in my cabbage. Cabbage can be cooked with its own water so you don't need to add any extra water. The thing is I don't want to overspice my vegetable and I don't want to overcook my vegetable also at the same time. I just love to have it in this way. Uh, in this way uh, it can be more flavorful, more colorful. So yes my cabbage is looking absolutely gorgeous. It's ready. So yeah that's how I made my cabbage curry. It's looking absolutely gorgeous and super colorful and super delicious. So now I'll start making my dal. So to make the matar dal in the hot oil I have added fenugreek seeds and some kalonji and then two pieces of bay leaves and now I'm going to add this spice mixture in it. So basically I have taken a small amount of um, turmeric powder and then red chili powder and cumin powder uh, with some water. I mixed it well and now I have added this into this oil and it's time to give it a very good mix. And now it's time to add the boiled dal into the mixture and it's time to give it a very good mix. And now let's cover the lid and let it cook for 10 minutes more. And after 10 minutes my dal is looking like this. Isn't it looking so inviting? I cannot tell you how much flavorful it is. It's just perfect. Time to add little bit of kasuri methi on top of the dal. And yeah, voila, that's it. My dal is looking absolutely ready to be served. So now let's move into the third dish that will be potato fry. So we Bengalis love to have this type of potato fries, alu bhaja we call it, uh, especially in the vegetarian day. So for that, uh, in the hot oil, I have added one piece of slitted green chili and kalonji. So kalonji and green chili, the combination is just so, so inviting. And now I'll add my... Uh, thinly sliced potatoes into it be very careful because oil is really very really hot and so now I'll give it a very good mix the only spice that I'll add into my potato fries uh, that will be turmeric powder just a little bit dash of turmeric powder and some salt and that's it if you uh, love to have it a little spicier way then you can definitely add more spices like uh, coriander powder then cumin powder anything any spice you can add there but I just love to have it this way after mixing all the ingredients really well now it's time to cover the lid and it's time to simmer the temperature of your oven so yes I haven't add any extra water if you want you can add some so after cooking it for 10 minutes when I open the lid my potatoes are looking like this so you have to check it really well because it depends uh, on the quality of the potatoes. So the potatoes this time I got it from Neto. It just takes 10 minutes to uh, be cooked properly. So yes, my alu bhaja is ready. And look at this. My kitchen is also absolutely cleaned up. I have cleaned up everything. So now I can serve the lunch. So yes, here is my Friday lunch. Absolutely ready. Pure vegetarian lunch. Some potato fries. Some basmati rice and some cabbage curry and also dal and salt and pepper and little bit of ghee so yes that's gonna be my no onion no garlic a friday full vegetarian lunch so now i'll sit and enjoy my lunch and rest i'll keep it for the dinner 
and one more thing i want to let you know my friends that today's lunch is packed with health also packed with health packed with nutrition first of all dal you know all that dal is a very good source of protein whenever we are eating vegetarian meal we just need to consume lots of dal and some cabbage which is uh, very uh, helpful with fiber and vitamins rice and some potatoes full with energy full with nutrition and some ghee as well so i hope you have enjoyed today's lunch hi my friends i just took a shower and now i'm going to enjoy my super vegetarian super delicious uh friday lunch uh, so i hope you have enjoyed today's uh, lunch session i hope you have enjoyed the way i make very uh, simple and quick and easy vegetarian lunch menu uh, no onion no garlic menu even though no tomatoes so i hope you have enjoyed it please try it in your home uh, it's just like uh, my own way to make some simple and quick meal uh, i just want to have some meal that is quick simple healthy and also at the same time uh, very beneficial for your health so yes um, that's a way we can maintain our good health good weight from monday to friday but yeah weekends you can definitely have whatever you want but one day is fine a cheat day but not more than one day so he is must for vegetarian meal so as today is vegetarian day so i can have some ghee with that so yes this is the lunch platter it looks like that I have decorated and arranged it like this way. I mean, in one plate you can have everything: rice, then dal, sabji, and some potato fries. So yes, now it's time to enjoy my lunch. I hope you have enjoyed today's vlog. If you have liked my vlog, please give me lot of support and lot of thumbs up. And I'll see you guys super soon with a new video with a new vlog. So ta ta.